All right, guys, uh, I'm going to do a little bit more in-depth video on the setup of this video switcher on the Quantum V2 goggles. Uh, people said that they were wanting to see um, just a, a wider angle picture um, of how this thing is set up. So here it is. I'm going to show you now how I hooked mine up. I have an AO Amway 5 volt camera here. Um, it's probably easier to use a 12 volt camera but I'm just using a 5 volt. So that power cable is running right here. Um, because uh, the voltage that comes out of this area of the video switcher is the same voltage that comes from your battery, um, I decided to run my 5 volt camera off a 5 volt BEC. So I've got the BEC hooked up to a JST plug right here. And it hooks right into the video switcher right here. Now I've got the signal from the camera going right into the S. So you see the S there, that's the signal from the camera. It's running into there. All right, now down at the bottom here, this DC in is the plug that came with the kit and it comes back from the XT60 here. So the XT60 comes up and it goes into DC in. Then video out, this cable right here, video out is comes off of this Y, uh, the Y connector from the screen. So the screen comes here and then goes into a Y. The RCA jack plugs into video out. And then video in comes back is the cable from uh, your receiver. So your receiver is the video in right here. So once again, I showed you on my other video, a really close up picture. This is a, you know, a, uh, a wide angle of what that all looks like. So once again, just to recap, I've got my five volt camera being powered by a, a UBEC, five volt UBEC right here to a JST plug. JST plug, uh, the female, plugs into the male on the switcher. Um, I've got my video signal from the camera going into the signal right here. And uh, here we got DC in. DC in is the cable that's sent in the kit that's attached to the XT60. So feeds right in here to DC in. That's the power. Video out comes from the Y connection here from the screen. And video in comes from your video receiver. Now let me hook this up and I don't have, uh, I don't have a battery on hand to power up my little 210 sized uh, mini quad here. Um, but I'll at least show you what the front facing camera looks like. So, see if you can see in there. See that? When you push the button, that'll be, um, and the button faces through this little window right here. But when you push the button, this is now feeding off the signal from the receiver. Push the button, and now it's my front facing camera. And that is a little bit more in depth. Uh, uh, as to how I set this thing up. I hope that helps you.